Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Rachel and I am a disruptor in the accounting industry. I'm disrupting what it means to be an accountant, what it feels like to have an accountant, and showing you the behind the scenes of what running an accountancy practice looks like. In today's video, I'm going to be talking you through how to get from chaos to control, and we are talking about how to create a study plan in Notion, where I'm going to be running you through what Notion actually is, how to set up your study planner in Notion, your weekly to-do list, creating a calendar, creating a notebook, and a full wrap-up. If you don't know what Notion is, welcome to the aesthetic database of your dreams by a productivity princess who is also a massive nerd. <laughs> Notion is a productivity and note-taking app which has a lot of amazing functions and settings to help you to plan your tasks, prep your to-do lists, and keep track of your schedule. When you are trying to balance work and study, manage your time effectively, and look after yourself, it can feel a bit of a minefield at times. So having everything in one place to keep track of everything can actually make that mission impossible feel a little less impossible. I am a huge fan and use Notion every single day to help manage my schedule, prepare notes for a meeting, or outline tasks for my team. You've probably guessed it, but as the productivity princess, I love to make anything to do with my organization and just general organization as pretty and aesthetic as possible. And Notion definitely lets me do that. Let me hold your hand and help familiarize you with Notion and all of the great ways that it can work for you if you're studying at the moment. So let's start with actually setting up Notion. You can sign up for Notion using your Google account or email address, and then you'll find loads of pre-made templates in Notion for you to use. So today, let's start from scratch so you can see how you can customize everything exactly how you'd like it. When you first open Notion, you'll probably be taken to a getting started page, which outlines some of the basics to get you started with using Notion. Just head over to the left of the screen and click on add a page and a blank page will appear. Just hover over the text at the top of the page to change the name of the page to whatever you'd like it to be. As we're focusing on using Notion today as a student, uh, we'll call the page My Study Planner. But of course, you can title the page however you like. We can then go ahead and add an icon to our page, which will show up in the left hand column too. And then we can add a cover picture to our page as well. Notion has all sorts of different cover options for you to choose, or you can actually go ahead and upload your own as well. And this is where the fun starts. We're now gonna add in the different sections that I would personally want in my study planner. But this, of course, will be entirely personal to you, your studies, and you can personalize it as we go along. So once you're in the swing of things with how to use Notion, then you can build your study planner entirely how you want to. And so this is just one way of doing things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a favorite motivational quote at the top of my page to inspire me when studying is feeling like a chore. In this section, you could do the same or add the date of your final exam, whatever you want at the top of that page every single time you open it. So to do this, click underneath your title and then press the slash key to see a drop down list of all of the different command options. Choose the call out option and then add whatever you fancy. I'm also gonna set up the page so that it is full width by clicking in the three dots in the top right hand side of the page and selecting full width. You can then change the size of the text here too. Next up, I'm gonna add my content section to my study planner dashboard here so I can easily navigate through my different pages of Notion. So we're gonna type a slash again to see the different commands and then choose a heading. We'll then be able to list out the different sections that we want in our study planner. Again, this will be entirely personal and customized by you as you go through your studies. But if you're doing a few exams at once, then you could add a page for each different exam or module. Or if you're gonna try and use Notion to organize more than just your studies, then these pages could be for your work to-do list, study to-do list, your journal, finances, and so much more. If we highlight each of the sections that we want in our dashboard, right click and then select turn into and then page, 
This will make each of these different sections become a different page of our dashboard, and then we can go in and fill in as we need to. So that's a really, really great shortcut. So rather than adding in all of those pages individually, we can literally just follow those processes and create all of them in one go. Next up, we're going to add a to-do list to our dashboard. I don't know about you, but there is nothing more satisfying for me than ticking tasks and study goals from a list. So firstly, type a couple of dashes to create a line that will split out our sections. And then we can add in another heading, just like we did for our content section. So starting off with Monday, we can add a heading for the day and then add a little emoji next to the heading if we want to, or give the heading a colored background like this. Then underneath, if we type a slash, we can select the to-do list command and that will give us our list to fill in. Then we can simply copy and paste this block to create a to-do list for every single day of the week. Every week, you'll then be able to refresh your list and go in and add in your tasks that you want to get done that day or events, calls or study days that you need to remember for that week. Another section that I think is crucial to include in your study planner is a calendar so that you can keep track of study days, deadlines and exams. From the drop-down list of commands, select calendar view to create a calendar. Click no database to create a blank calendar, which you can then start to populate with college courses, submission deadlines and exam dates. I used to love uh, using the Gantt chart option as well to work out and like date back from my exam date how many mock and like past papers I wanted to do before my exam, work it back using the Gantt chart function, then feed that into a calendar. and I can see exactly how long I've got between where I am now and where I need to be. You might also want to have sections to record revision notes or notes from a study day. We have different sections for different topics or course chapters. So again, we are going to type a slash and choose gallery view from the list of options and then select database. This will then give us some different sections for different topics or chapters, and we can add as many as we need for our notes. So by clicking into each section, we can rename it, edit the setup of the section, or simply start typing out our notes. There you have it. That is just one quick and easy way that you can build a study planner in Notion from scratch to help keep you feeling in control and on top of your to-do list. As I said at the start of this video, there's no right or wrong way to use Notion and it is entirely down to personal preference. So today I wanted to keep it super simple, super easy, so that actually Notion itself doesn't feel overwhelming and is actually super helpful rather than a hindrance. If something is too complicated to use, the chances are you won't use it. And so that's why I was really keen to start from scratch. So not only am I building your Notion skills, but you've built a study planner and now you know how to make and amend your changes. There's a whole load of templates already available for you to download and use if you don't want to start from scratch today. Also, let me know in the comments if a very pretty and pink accountant she Notion study planner template would be up your street and I can see if I can work my magic. Today we have covered what is Notion, how to set up your study planner in Notion, your weekly to-do list, creating a calendar, creating a notebook and your final Notion wrap-up which will have answered all of your questions about setting up a planner in Notion. Please do let me know in the comment section what you found the most useful. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I hope to see you again very soon.